Hey, hello, hi here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the freeze frame thing you can do with avatars. So, like, for example, if I do this, I am now running around in space, and I've purposely left this camera, camera on so you can kind of see that it's just frozen in place, and you can just kind of dab on the haters or whatever. Then you can see that, you know, it's frozen in place at the last frame that you did, or the last action you did. So I can sh I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now that we're in Unity and not in VR chat, I can now show you exactly how to actually make it so your avatar freezes in place and you can just simply walk away. And I just want to say, and I always say this in every video, disclaimer and all that, I actually would give the credit to whoever originally made this because I actually there is actually a script on how to act you know there's a script that does it for you you know does this process in like a button click I don't have the script myself I kind of just figured it out on my own because I have a very good understanding on how the constraints work so um, if you do feel that you, you know this is a bit much for you and you don't want to go through the, the, the hassle of having to do individual bones every time if you want to make this then feel free to um, disregard this video and go over to that person and get that uh, the script it will make your life easier but if you're poor like me and you can't afford however much it is to get that script we can continue on with the tutorial so anyway let, without further ado let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do is obviously have your avatar right and uh, you want to then duplicate it. So I usually just rename it. So I'll just call it freeze. Freeze mode, I guess. Then you also want to have, there's a prefab that I will link to in the, in the description of this video. It's actually Linsu's uh, prefab. And if you know how to make world, fix world things, then go ahead and do it because as long as you know how to do it then it's fine but in this case um, because I'm lazy it's just easy to just drag this in um, and just open it up unpack, unpack the prefab delete the cube and then what I do is I actually turn these off turn these off I make sure that's unlocked and make sure the locks are all off on everything and, you will un and I'll explain why you have to do, do that later. So now you can drag this world space um, component or game object, throw this in here, and then yeah, you're ready to throw the whole thing into the avatar. And I like to do have it so this is on the bottom. So um, we'll, 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 we'll worry about fixing it to the world later. So now. Uh, I actually look for the the mesh, and this is just for a confu just so you don't get confused, because I am gonna tell you it gets really confusing really quickly. So you you want to make sure you really take you know really paying attention when you do this. So you want to like rename this and just rename it to something that you know makes sense to you. So let's say freeze, so so I don't get confused. So I know that that mesh is uh is um you know. The one for this avatar so basically because the reason why we have to do it this way is because um, you can't just throw constraints and freeze them in place because no matter no matter what happens the IK just takes over so you have to kind of put a dummy version of your avatar and link it back to you all the bones back to the original bones on your model or arm armature so that way that um, when you do unlink it it just freezes in place and it you know it will only refer to the last thing that it remember it was connected to so the next step this this is where it gets very 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 painful i would suggest you just open all these out and i actually do this right i drag the inspector into on the top here right and i just un open up every single bone every single one right now open that and you'll see why you want to do this and this is actually to speed up the process because if you do this one by one you're going to be here for a long time so yeah so just open everything up like so 
I can roll up. Then you go from, don't select the hip, but select the next one up, so it'll be like your spine. Select all this, leave the hip, add component, cons constraint, and we want to have a rotation constraint. And I usually just activate it. I leave the lock off and I'll put a transform, a source I should say, in. So this is all ready to go and the reason why we did this is so every one of these has a selection. And then just to save on confusion, I close all this up and I do one thing at a time. So actually we'll close this up here. Actually, that one. Then now you have to open up all this here. So actually I normally just... Uh, I'll leave this closed. So let's just close all that. So basically you have to open everything up on the original, on your original avatar. Because if you don't, then you're going to have fun trying to open everything and then you'll forget. So. Now. This is the fun part. And when I say fun, it's not fun at all. So now what you have to do, and this is why you want to move your inspector over to the, the middle. Is now you have to drag everything over. One by one. You just keep dragging and dropping. Right? And you have to do this with every bone. And if you don't, I mean, you could get away with one or two, but I find it's better just to do all the bones, quite honestly. It's a forearm. Oh, what's happened there? Ah, uh, see, this is why I get, you get confused really quickly. I will keep this all closed, so I actually close all this. So I do them one by one, I know that, oh okay, that goes there. So finger. And I'll, I'm probably going to have to speed this up, just so you know, you don't just sit, sit here and watch me do this for like 10 minutes. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Alrighty, and we're back. So now that we've linked every single bone every single bone that is in this armature we go back to the hip we create a parent constraint we go we activate it we create a source and we drag the hip over let it do its thing lock it and then this is pretty much all you got to do for this part of this the, what's it called so you can probably just fix this all up so this is, is all linked now this is all ready to go you're probably you know like hating yourself but whatever make sure you don't have two descriptors in your avatar that's not good now what you want to do is these these actually have to be off so you, you know it doesn't stay there but it probably doesn't matter when your mesh is off but no but it's better to just have this off so now the next thing you want to do is um so make sure the hip, well, I should probably make sure I did do the hip, I did do the hip didn't I, yep. So the next step is to then have the world space stuff, you want to drag your mesh, your main body mesh, the armature, the original armature, not this one, this one, your, your actual body mesh, drag those in to here, go constraint settings on both, lock them, then next you want to go to the container, go constraint, open that up, but then also at the same time drag your mesh again into this, lock it, and then that's pretty much it. This is ready to go. We could probably test it if we press play. So when I move it around, it's all good. So if you say you uh, press the gesture down, you turn this mesh off, you turn that mesh on, you would also turn on the hip, or turn off the hip, and then turn on the world constraint stuff. And so what happens is, you can see like the, this is your viewpoint, that your model stays. This is just a simulation or just a visualization of what would happen. So now I'm going to show you how to do the um, the gesture once this un un freezes itself. Sorry, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of stuff. All my projects are in in this in this scene. I'm lazy so basically now what you want to do 
is, oh, well, this is easy for me, I can just do that. So you want to make a, con a controller and all this stuff. This is the way you would normally make an um, animation. And then just, uh, we could probably duplicate this, I guess. I don't know, I do, I do it dif two different ways. But this is this is the way I was taught originally. I do it with the, another way. So you can just hide this one, right? Drag this on. And uh, this is a really good little thing you can do. So, you know what, actually no, we'll do it the other way. I, I like doing it this way, it's better. It won't hurt it. So you can actually do this, right? Yes. You can actually just drag your animator in. This is actually a better way to do it. And then you click on your avatar. You go to the bottom here and you can actually select the animation because it was uh, it was called freeze and it's the same thing and then the reason why I didn't want to duplicate it and all that is because I didn't want to have to open this all out again because it's horrible to do that a second a third time so you can just you're gonna have to open all this out again unfortunately but if you do it this way you won't have to open it out a second time uh, what am I missing ah see I knew I was missing something so now what you do is you'd lock this you press your animation where's he gone he's down there that's not you click this you click that and actually before you do that I should probably I like to lock the all this there we go now you can try that so make sure you lock that but um press record mode and then all you want to do is you want to turn off the rotation constraint so now this is gonna like be off by default you want to go to the hip you want to turn off the parent constraint so it now doesn't want to follow the hip and then at the same time I mean I don't think you even need this but this is just yeah it, it works I guess you want to go to the world space and you want to turn on these and then at the same time, you can probably hide this. Oh, actually, no, you don't want to hide this, but you want to hide the armature. You want to turn this mesh on, and you want to turn that mesh off. Now, the reason why you want to do this is, um, if you turn both these meshes on, you're going to see two or two of yourself, because technically this is a separate avatar, this part here, and you want it to make sure that it's like um, the only thing you see. So make sure you actually turn this off in an animation. So now, now that that's done, you can go copy this, Control C, Control V, and this is pretty much ready to go. Uh, this is just, yeah, and you can probably just delete that and just upload it, and it should just work, whatever just you use it. Um, and if it doesn't work and like a bone still like follows you or it's like doing something funky, it's probably likely that you uh, you misclicked something and it doesn't like maybe you for, you click this and you're supposed to click that and you know you missed one and this is empty and your finger stays it follows you still that will be why so make sure you do that or it like doesn't follow it's probably because the world space doesn't work but anyway um i hope you enjoyed the video and you know you learned how to do this um stay tuned for all the other content i'll have on how to do stuff and uh if you like and you like the stuff I do, um, you can check out my avatar world in VR chat. I've got a lot of cool things and if you like what you see and you want to know how I did it, uh, feel free to message me and I'll, I could probably do a video on how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. See ya.